Hey, good morning guys. Johnny with Blaze Grass Lawn Care. Today is my final day with the Toro Grandstand of Revolution. Oh, let me get out of the sun. And um, wanted to hit you guys up and let you know my final thoughts on the mower. And, and one thing that I'll tell you straight up if you've been following my videos is that the, the backing up situation, I got that under control. And mainly it was my speed had to be uh, minimized because I was running too fast. And it has where you can, can slow the speed down and you can lead the speed up. But I'll show you, hopefully you can see. Okay, so this is a main switch. You have to have it either on or off to uh, start the mower and to actually um, charge it. So to start it, again, you hit the main switch, you turn it on, and you wait. And you hear that click? That means that the mower is on. Now this was one of those things that, you know, it's like, whoa, you know. <laughs> but yeah, the mower is on right now. And the mower is currently on. And for those who, this is your first time looking at this mower, check the link on the top. I'll put where, you know, it, it specifically tells you exactly what the mower does and all the parts and all that good stuff. But um, one thing I'll show you right here, you can control blade speed. You can control each individual motor. And this is the speed of the mower itself. So you can bring it down or bring it up. See, so bring it down. So you bring it up and keep it right there for now. You know, you can do a lot of things with it, guys. Okay. So um, the mower does a self-diagnostic and all that good stuff. Um, if you want more info, guys, go to Toro.com. And they have a link, a calculator, which shows you how you can save a lot by financing this mower versus financing a 12 or 15K mower. Okay. It's not. All right, guys, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the price of this mower. Yes, at 33K, this mower is expensive, but believe it or not, guys, this mower will pay for itself, especially when it comes to fuel prices. But before we get into the cost of the mower, guys, and how you're going to benefit, let's talk about additional benefits that you're going to get from just owning this mower. In some states, you can get a rebate for purchasing a low zero emission equipment another thing that you can think about guys is low maintenance costs you don't have to worry about the belts oil changes fluid replacement etc and you guys know that labor to repair your machine is pretty expensive nowadays in my area it's like 95 bucks per hour just for the guy to work on your stuff now you also can charge an additional green marketing cost guys again you're using a green piece of equipment so therefore you are one of those companies that is above and beyond and exceptional in your community so you can have a slight surcharge for that right of course you can another thing is the ability to start sooner early in the morning you don't have that noise level you know you can start out there your neighbors or, or you know your customers won't complain right and again, the overall convenience uh, of your time. You know, you, you, you're spending less time at the gas station. And like, like I said before, less time at your dealer trying to get your machine repaired, right? All right. So now let's talk about how can you save money with this mower. Now in the video description, guys, I will put a link to Toro's calculator where it shows you and you can kind of mess around and put your own numbers in there. And it'll show you how you can save money financing this mower when it comes to, you know, purchasing a regular mower. And again, guys, the, the, the difference right now in, in the example that I'm going to talk about is an additional 125 bucks that you are spending on your monthly payment than if you were to finance a regular gas mower. Okay. All right. So I need you to have your listening ears, guys. And I know, you know, I'm not trying to be condescending, but please pay attention to what I'm saying and 
have an open mind. All right, so here we go. All right, guys, so these are conservative numbers. And again, we know that most contractors, long guys, are running the machine four days a week to five days a week, right? And an average of seven months of mowing a year. So the national average for the gas right now is $4.15. And you know, it may change depending on where you live. So on average, I'm spending eight gallons a day, right? Just to mow my properties. So that's $33.20 a day that I'm spending, right? At four days a week, guys, that's $132.80 that I'm spending. Now, every month, I'm looking at $531 just in gas. And guys, in seven months, I'm spending $3,718, right? So imagine you guys that are mowing longer than seven months. If I'm spending $3,718 just in seven months, do the math, guys. So you may say, hey, Johnny, come on, man. But, you know, you're plugging, plugging this thing in and you're spending money on your electricity. And again, national average for electricity is 15 cents per kilowatt hour, right? On average, you're using 18.4 kilowatt hours a day that's two dollars and seventy six cents now in four days all you're spending is eleven dollars and four cents now in a whole month you're spending forty four dollars and sixteen cents and in seven months it is only three hundred and nine bucks and twelve cents so there's your big difference and guys we're not talking about maintenance oil change labor to get your stuff repaired, time in the shop. Come on, guys. Let's let's do the math. Again, 125 bucks more, you can recoup that real easy. So, guys, do the math and, and, and look at the difference, okay? And, again, this mower is not for everyone. I 100% understand. But when looking at it this way and doing your numbers, guys, it makes sense. For some of us, not all of us, but for some of us. Guys, put your comment in the uh, comment section below, guys. I'm only here to show you what's available. I'm here to enlighten you and give you some, you know, examples here and there. I'm not here to convince you, but the only one that can make that choice is you. Guys, put your comments. Have a blessed one. Let me know what you think. <laughs> All right, guys, hope this was helpful. Let's have a conversation. Pop smoke. Peace.